What's up YouTube? Jason here, Morph Mixology Reptiles. Welcome back to the channel, The Snake Room, and Happy New Year! Uh, real quick, sorry that this video did not go live on the regularly scheduled times of Thursday, 5 p.m. Pacific. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick why, but this room was a disaster until about an hour ago at the time of filming this. So, I uh, didn't have a chance to get the video out in time and the video for the 2019 year in review, uh, I didn't want to rush it, so I didn't bother. Uh, and I think in the long run it's better off. I'd rather give you guys good quality content um, irregularly than garbage all the time. So, uh, but Happy New Year, welcome to 2020. The 2020 season is off and running as you guys know, I'm super excited. And we're starting the year off right with a fresh rearrangement of the room. And part of the reason that I've been so busy and kind of scattered and absent between videos, and that is I finally, after what, probably eight months of working on this, finally finished the floors and the paint in this room. Uh, if you guys have been paying attention, this is the wall that used to have that big black metal rack on it that um, Nala in her little temporary cage and stuff like that was on and half of this wall wasn't even painted. Um, finally done with the painting, the floors over by the hatchling racks uh, just stopped and they were just dirty and undone uh, and so now they're finally finished and all the baseboards with the exception of behind the stack of cages behind you just because I haven't had a chance to move them away from the wall and finish that baseboard. All of the baseboard is done and the door trim. I actually have trim around my door finally. Uh, so finally getting to start with a fresh clean slate. New look. I'm probably going to go with this shot um, for a lot of my videos moving forward for 2020. Let me know how you, what you think about it if you like it. I'm also going to use the stack of cages behind you as a backdrop for videos, but I'm not going to do that until I unveil the other four once they're done. Good news is the heat panels are on the way. They've been ordered. And thank you, Chris Sexton, Heli Guy Serpents. If you are not following him right here, do it. Super nice guy. Got a really cool collection. Some stuff from us from 2019, which is awesome. But he hooked me up with a deal on a Herbstat 4 because he's upgrading his collection as well and it too is on its way. So next week uh, we're probably going to get started on getting those finished. I'm super excited for that. What we did is I, I broke stuff up now. The big breeder racks to my right are still where they have always been and are going to stay and when we upgrade to probably freedom breeder racks in all honesty the 1030 or 1040 whatever we decide to get will go there. Um, but I wanted to move the males as far away as possible and I wanted to kind of break the room up a little bit and give it some more space and it makes it with that big metal rack out of here makes it so much easier. And so we moved over here the grow out rack, the grow up females, and both, one of them's off camera here, both of the 28 quart male uh, racks. So now they're as far away as possible in the room. So really happy with that. Plus that super cool mixology sign that's kind of blown out it looks like on the white, but the super cool metal sign from Mike Recker next to a bit of inspiration from JKR and our photo table, which I actually get to use now. Anyway, room's up and running, moved everything around. It feels more airy. It's kind of a brought new life into the room for me and new energy to move forward. So this week, I just want to do a quick little project if I haven't rambled on too long already. Um, but I want to do a quick little project for our girl Nala behind you there. Some of you have mentioned, well, how come she doesn't have a hide? She needs a hide, you know. And I don't, in all honesty, I don't think she needs one because the lights in her cage are off uh, unless I'm in here working with her and I just want to see her. But I wanted to try something different, you know, try to do a little DIY project. So uh, I was going to use a rat tub, one of the black medium mortar tubs that I use for my uh, rat breeders, but it's just a little bit too big for the space in there because I don't want to move where the log is. I like the placement, I like the look, and it won't fit in there front to back. So I'm going to show you guys real quick my idea. I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see Nala's cage, 
and I'm gonna do this quick little project and give Nala at least a little bit of something so that she can get in and hide away from me or the cat or whoever else and feel just a bit more secure. All right guys, so here's my idea. We've got Nala's cage here. You can see, maybe you'll see her hiding right here in front of the, the log. I love this log in its position. I think it looks really cool. Um, and I have the water dish way over here. I didn't want it underneath the heater because uh, ventilation was tough enough as it is. And if you put your water directly underneath the heat panel, it'll increase your humidity. Little trick too, if you didn't know that. So if you're not getting enough humidity in your enclosures, put your water dish underneath the heat panel. Just know your humidity is gonna come up and the water is gonna run out faster because it's evaporating. So I've got the water over here. Um, I'm probably, I'm still working with Stuart from Universal Rock to try to get an actual uh, rock bowl, but a, you know, a good 20 inch diameter one or so for that. So it looks a little more natural, but it's working great so far. She has used it to soak a little bit, which is nice. I do have this spot right here. Um, remember this, this cage is 30 inches front to back with a two inch uh, offset plus the half inch material on the front and back. So a three inch difference. There's 27 inches inside not including the thickness of the background. Uh, and then this way it's about, between the edge of the log and the edge of there, is about 18 to 20 inches or so. So the, the rat tubs weren't gonna fit, unfortunately. Um, but it's what I did buy, and I'm gonna see, hopefully this works. At Lowe's, they've got a huge container sale thing going on right now. There's containers everywhere. They like change the whole section, floor to ceiling containers, it's really cool. And they had these black ones, this Bella container. It's 69 quart locking lid, uh, but the dimensions are 24 inch by 19 inch. So front to back in a 27 inch section should work perfect. Um, and it should fit side to side in here between the log and the edge. It's gonna fill that space. But if you look at where Nala is, and she spends a lot of time over here anyway, next to the water, uh, she doesn't, utilize all of that and i think my theory is, is part of it uh is it's too open over there for her to feel comfortable sitting over there under the heat because she does sit like this behind the log quite a bit so my thinking is if i take this it's too tall to go in here i've already tried but if i take this and i cut it down you know and leave maybe nine or ten inches tall because the inside is only 18 if i do like nine or ten inches tall and put a, a hole in it, I can set it in here. She can get underneath it and hide, or she can even get on top of it if she wanted and get even closer to the heat if she's trying to bask. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna use a Dremel, super easy. We're just gonna take some painter's tape, measure on here, put the painter's tape on it so we have a straight edge to cut against, and then just a Dremel with a cutoff wheel. This is pretty, pretty soft plastic. Um, the reason I bought this one is because it has these corners and knowing that I was gonna cut this rim off, these corners will help keep it somewhat rigid enough in case she does get on top of it. Uh, so we're just gonna cut off across here and set it in there and see how she likes it. Basically all I did is I just figured out what I wanted. It worked out to about eight inches overall, uh, which is fine because that's plenty and it puts it about halfway up in the tank or in the cage. So I measured from here to the, this side of the tape where I'm gonna cut, it was about five and a quarter and I just kind of estimated it all the way around. Does not at all need to be perfect. I'm gonna use a Dremel, just a traditional Dremel and a cutoff wheel.
So obviously before we're done, we're gonna go through and deburr all these, make them nice and uh, smooth. You can use it with lighter or sandpaper or whatever. I'll do that off camera, it's not a big deal to show you that. But I wanna go like this and see that in that back corner, bed it down a little bit. Look at that. That's gonna fit in there nice. I'll take you guys in and show you. Yeah, so you see it's about eight inches probably from the heat panel and the heat source. And it fits in here nice and she'll probably move it around to where she can get behind it and whatnot. But it fits in with that log. And you look at roughly her size and the size of that tub. You know, she's not curled up real small either. Um, so she should easily be able to fit in there. And even if she only gets in part way, I'll probably put in two holes. So I think is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a hole in here because I think that's gonna be a cool spot for her in a hunting position to be able to see out the front. And then I'll put another small one kind of back here so she can come all the way through it if she want. And give Nala a cool new hide. What do you think, Nala? All right, you guys, here it is. It's all done. Got a hole in this side, got a hole back here, and I went through with a, just a butane torch, um, just one of those little blue ones that you can get, and I just went over all of it. So I mean, it's if I can run my hand along it and that, it's it's plenty smooth. I just melted all the edges, all the way up. It looks rough, but that's because of the way I cut it. But I, I can literally just sit here and rub my hands on it, and it's not marking me up at all. So I'm not worried about it hurting her. But I wanna go ahead and put it in and get a final look at her new house. All right guys, there you go. For all of you that were concerned that Miss Nolly here didn't have a hide, now she does, it's really dark in there. She's got a hole in the front she can come out through. Got a hole back over here she can come out through. And she can coil up underneath it and get away from everybody if she wants, so. That's gonna do it for this week. Don't forget, 2019 year in review is on its way. The rest of this build is on its way. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Hit us up on Instagram and Facebook. That's where we do most of our uh, interacting. Availability, I do still have some stuff available from 2019. Uh, morphmixology.com slash available is always current, at least it should be. Uh, but go over there, and if you see something you like, send me a message, and we'll work something out. Surprisingly decent weather for Montana in January. There's no snow on the ground, and it was 50 degrees today. So, had there been something that you guys wanted to buy, likely could have shipped it. So just uh, hit me up, I do have some stuff left for the rest of the year, and we are getting real close to eggs for 2020. Thank you guys for sticking with us, and if you got any more, cool DIY ideas like this, let's put them down in the comments, share them with everybody else, and let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.